Would you all believe me if I told you that a million dollar company has hired me to clean their private jet? That's right, guys. These people are called Jank Airlines, and apparently they are doing some amazing things out there with airplanes. Want to keep up with the latest beautiful OB videos? Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. How's it going, everybody? OB here, and welcome back to some more Power War Simulator, where if you look at my hands, look at my hands right now. We are currently using the Prime Vista Pro. Okay, you don't just get this thing willy-nilly, okay? You have to go through years of Power Wash training to be able to control one of these things. Let me go ahead and give you an example real quick. Notice how I'm holding it with basically no hands right now. Now, a normal civilian holding it with the stream of water coming out of this pressure here would snap your arm completely off. However, for a professional like myself here, I don't even feel it, okay? I don't even know it's there. All right, as you can see here, Jank Airlines has hired me to clean their private jetliner here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. You can see it has gone through some nasty stuff here. This is uh, a UFO. I actually don't know what this is. This looks like some kind of a uh, laser beam gun. Uh, gonna go ahead and put on the white nozzle here. That is the whitest spread here. And we're just gonna go ahead and gently coat some water on this bad boy here working our way down like this here i i guess honestly we just pick a pick a spot and start now you can see some of the dirt is actually being a little stubborn here the prime vista pro although the strongest power washer in the entire universe is actually struggling here however if we switch over here to the yellow you can see the dirt is just falling off in a very satisfying way did i i just cleaned something i cleaned what did, I, what did I get? What did I clean? It said something ding, but I don't even know what I got. Oh, see these little tiny sticks poking out here? These are the static wicks. You got to clean the little sticks. You see, if I didn't notice those, I would have missed those. There we go. I got all the sticks on the back there. Those are the static wicks. They are for static. Yeah. Like, would you put fabric softener in your dryer machine? Sort of static? That's for that. That's for that. Well, we're going to clean this wing here. Oh, uh, you can see we have some rust here. Now, this is coming off with the yellow nozzle. Very impressive. Very impressive, if I do dare say so here. But I've noticed that it's not going ding. And you see, that's because you have to get the top of it. So we're going to have to climb atop this bad boy at some point. Maybe I'll do it now. Maybe I'll just go ahead and get that out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and go on top here, like this. We're gonna make our way to the tippy top, like this. And now you can see, it's really, um, it's really getting clean here. So if you didn't know, this thing I'm cleaning, this little section right here, this is called the elevator. We are learning today. I think we should work from the top down. That's how professional power washers do it in real life. That's how OB's gonna do it today. No more goofing around. This is this is 2022 now, okay? This is New Year, New OB. You think I have time to crack jokes and be a goofball all my life? No. I am a full-grown adult, and it's time I start acting like one by getting good at what I do. Are you impressed? Are you impressed right now? Look at the line. Look at the craftsmanship I am showing here. We're going to have this bad boy cleaned in no time. And if you guys are still enjoying Power Wash Simulator on the channel, make sure to drop a video on a like for me right now, please, please. And subscribe, please. Appreciate that. Forehead kiss. That was a forehead kiss. Nothing weird. All right, let's switch over here to the vertical stabilizers here. Without this, you don't have any vertical stabilization. You just go up and down, horizontal like a helicopter. This is what gives you that stabilization. Okay, this is why Jank Airlines always be crashing, guys. Because they don't have their clean, their, their stabilizers aren't clean. It's disgusting up here, it's filthy. I bet they clean the inside of the jet, but not the outside of it. And that's the problem I'm seeing here. That is the problem. This is why they can't get any like grip on the air. You guys having a good day out there, by the way? School going okay, chips? Y'all finish your homework today? I bet you guys get a lot of homework lately, you know, with things being- Oh my goodness, I completed this! The horizontal stabilizers is done. Okay, from a top perspective though, it's looking good. It's looking good. By the way, guys, you can join my Discord server if you need help with your homework. I'm pretty good at math, I'm not gonna lie. You give me algebra, I'll knock it out like that. I won't even use Google that you know of. 
I won't. I'll use my brain. Now stay tuned to the end of the video, by the way, because we're gonna complete this level, okay? We're gonna complete this level, and then we're gonna see what comes next. And there was a new update. It came out a couple days before this video released, maybe about a week before this video releases. So there's a lot more content coming out. There might be some more power washers coming out in the future, although I can't see them doing any better than a Prime Vista Pro. This thing is the tops, okay? You can't even find this bad boy at Home Depot. You have to special order this one online, and they ship it to your house. It takes seven months, because they have to build it. It takes six months to build, one month to ship. It's prestigious. Wait a minute, yo, look at my money. Thousand dollars and 30 pennies. That means I can come over here to the store, right? Go to equipment. I can actually buy something new for the Prime Vista Pro. I can get the extra long extension almost. Actually, I can't get it now. I own the, wait, hold on. I can get the long extension though. I'm gonna get the long extension. That way we can hit things from the ground even better. I've been using the short one. Now we can switch to the long one. Uh, let's go extension here and let's go ahead and put the long extension on. You can clearly see we have just upped our game by 1,000%. Now, if I had the extra long one, this thing would be a breeze. But look at that. Yo, we can stay away. Okay, let's see how far. Let's give it a test here. From this far? Let's go all the way to the wall. Surely not. Surely not. No way! Imagine if I had the extra long one. We can basically go to another video and keep cleaning this thing. That would be insane. This part here is called the fuse lodge. This is where the fuses are at. There, it's like a it's like a lodge where you hang out, but it's for fuses only. Okay, people are not allowed in this part of the fuse lodge because this is where the fuses hang out. And if you catch a person in there, you can electrocute it probably. And this part is the vertical stabilizer as well, which we're still it's done. I did it. Let's switch gears a little bit. Let's over here to the cockpit here. This is the front. This is the uh. Wait, wait, hold on, there's a piece here called the Fuse Lodge Wiring. See, I was right about the electricities. You do not want to get shocked here. What was that? That was the sensor. Oh, the sensor. Okay, and what is this? This is a landing gear door. I know I said I was going to do it right because new year, new me, clean top to bottom. But also, I'm still learning the way. Blake Thrust says, I imagine you're key to learn some of the specifications of the jet. Yes, absolutely. Teach me about this jet, sir. I need to know. Blake, are you a part of Jake Airlines, or are you just pretending right now, my man? Because I can't tell, honestly. And you have a dollar sign for your icon. As it's you, I'll divulge. Was that English? What kind of sentence was that? What is that? That's another sensor. They just glue sensors anywhere they want? I've never seen that. Is that real? Is that how they do it? Blake, can you come back and tell me how airplanes work, sir? Okay, I, I do not like when they make me get into the nooks and crannies. The nooks and grannies are not where I want to be. Just so tedious down here, you know? There's so many little spots here. You know, luckily with this this one that I'm using here, let's switch to the white ones to cover a larger distance here. With the extra long extension, it should be totally fine to do this. There we go, kind of knocking it all out here. Let's go ahead and get the landing gear. Whoa, that thing shined up real fast. Look at this, watch this. Watch the satisfaction as I slowly... Whoa, the dirt just kind of melts away, doesn't it? I just made a straight line down that tire almost, so you hear? Let's go ahead and get inside the rims here like this. There you go, that's how you get a clean rim there. Let's go ahead and get the tires here. Probably gotta get the inside. If you hit tab there, you can see I got a lot of work. Oh, didn't mean to do that part there. That was an accidental, I, I cleaned something on accident there. Oh, got the tires, okay, let's go ahead and get this um, landing gear is good. And everything under here looks to be pretty darn clean. Let's continue then. Go back to the white nozzle here, you can see. With the extra long extension, the spray width is optimal. It's the top. This is the bee's knees of, whoops, of Prime Vista's powers and washing. Slowly make your way up and all the way back down. Slowly make your way all the way up and you just watch that dirt come pouring right on off. Don't even worry that the ladder is blocking a little bit of my water flow. You can see I made an outline there. I'm making art today. Okay, let's go around it, okay? It's no big deal. Let's go around it. You could say, well, we just move the ladder. But if I move it, then I have to pick it back up later on. And that's something I don't want to do. Okay, watch this there. It's there. It's basically glued to the side of the jet. Okay? Now go all the way down. Go all the way back up. This is working. 
This is actually working really, really nicely. Look at this bad boy here. Really shine it up, isn't it? Okay, this is called a laser. It's actually a laser. Okay, so I wasn't stupid. This, oh, it actually says warning laser on it. What has Jink Airlines been doing? Let's clean the laser. Guys, this game actually has lore, by the way, okay? There's lore in this game. I don't, I don't understand it or know what it is, but yes, there's lore. Okay, so we have to learn what's going on because this is a weird town. Maybe at the end when we clean the final thing, we'll figure out what's really happening in this weird, wacky town. Trying to get this laser cleaned up here so we can get a better look at this bad boy. What is this like purple stuff here? They're using some kind of technology that we don't understand. This is UFO technology. Are we? Are they gonna make us clean like a UFO? That would be so cool if they did. Did y'all hear that? I know I heard another. What the heck? Huh? Okay. I heard a footstep that sounded like it was on the roof. And I look up and I see this. Has this become a horror game? Do I need to be scared? No, surely not. What if we turn around and he's no longer there? Then we get scared. Well, actually, we just get scared now. I'm scared right now. Okay. I'm watching you, bud. Although this jet looks superficially like any other, it's far from it. Yeah, I know, dude. There's a freaking laser beam on the bottom of it. I can tell it's something. something's going on here, Blake. Blake, if that's even your real name. Sounds like something OB would do. Its fuselage is made from a graphene matrix that is lighter than air, but stronger than steel. You're lying. That can't be real. Lighter than air, but stronger than steel. Okay, buddy. You're not pulling the wool over my eyes. Not only can it reach speeds of over 888 miles per hour, but it is also technically the world's largest pencil. It's made out of the lead from pencils? I know that stuff's not stronger to steal. I've broken the tip of my pencil many times. Currently working on the landing gear and landing gear base here. You can see that you have to kind of, you really have to get into these nooks here, okay? There's that, that, and the bay is clean. Everything looks clean down here. Ooh, okay, tires are good, rims are good. We're going with A plus in that one. That looks clean. We have to do the other one though. I'm trying to get the tedious stuff out of the way. That way I can just enjoy cleaning gigantic surfaces all at once. That's my favorite thing. But when you gotta get down here, you get kind of agitated because everything just kind of gets everywhere. There's dirt literally falling into my eyes right now, probably. It's, it's a mess. Don't come down here, it's a mess. Uh, progress update. We are currently at 50% cleaned right here. However, I have just found the anti-gravity booster. Now, I know for a fact that airplanes do not have anti-gravity boosters, okay? This is something that hasn't been invented yet. Unless you count those bounce houses that kids have at their birthday parties. That's basically anti-gravity. Huh. I mean, look at this thing. It's kind of dirty there. How'd they get the dirt in the anti-gravity part? Wouldn't the, wouldn't the dirt just float away if it doesn't have gravity? I don't understand this. This technology is like basically beyond my comprehension. It's basically like balloons. I don't understand how balloons work. This is the vortex generator. I don't know anymore. I don't know. The laser gun situated on the diffuse lodge uses a state-of-the-art crystalline compound to create an energy feedback loop that instantly plasmatizes the air. Consequently, its beam reaches upwards of 3 million degrees Fahrenheit on a hot day. 3 million degrees. Okay, this guy's out of his mind. Now it's time for the fun part, okay? This is where we can do the long streaks like this. Where we could just, oh my goodness, we could split the plane in half. Half dirty, half clean. Then you can really get an appreciation for how strong this power washer really is. And look at the straight lines we were capable of doing. Whoa. That looks kind of cool. That looks really cool. I missed some spots here. No, I didn't. That's actually the inside of the door, but I did miss all this here. We're getting close, fellas. 72% done and rapidly increasing. We're gonna be at 73% before your face can even realize that way. Almost, okay, let's, hold on, let me just, 
Okay, we're gonna be at 70, 73%, like I said. You didn't even realize that happened. You blinked one second and you missed the whole thing. All right, fellas, we are at 95% clean. Now, real quick, let me know down in the comments below, what do you think we'll be cleaning next? So we're gonna find out at the end of this video, but no cheating, you gotta let me know right now. If I, I think one of y'all are gonna cheat. Y'all gotta skip to the end. Y'all gotta look what it is. You put it in the comments, you can say we'll be out the genius. No cheating. I will know. Somehow. I think it's gonna be a horse, if I'm being honest. If I'm being comp uh, completely up for blot with you, I'm honestly feeling a horse. I think a live creature to clean. Actually, is this guy still here? He's still there, okay. He's still watching and mocking me, making sure I'm doing a good job. Honestly, I don't need a supervision. I'm a full grown adult. I know exactly what I'm doing here. I know how to clean things. Been doing this all year. Been doing this since 2020, basically. I know exactly what I'm doing by now, dude. We are at 98% completed? Oh, I got the gravity cap. I got the gravity panel thing. Okay, let's do this wing. Let's do this wing here. I'm gonna switch to yellow here to really speed this bad boy up. Uh, we're at 99% now. And that concerns me because... What would I be missing? I'm pretty sure I got all the, the small pieces. Let's get this wing. Maybe when I get this wing... Oh, I, I missed that part. See, I didn't get that. Okay, I got the wing now. I got, got the little, uh... Got the little static wicks here. Um, oh, 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 the future large wiring. I gotta get the future large wiring. I saw it when I hit the button. Okay, w where's the door? Oh, behind the ladder that I refused to move, remember? I didn't want to move the ladder. Maybe I could do it without moving the ladder. I'm gonna be a little defiant. I'll make it work. There's dirt on here somewhere. Ah, sneaky dirt. I see you. Let's go with yellow here. There it is. See, didn't even have to move it. Okay, now what are we missing here? I mean, it looks good to me. I'm pressing the dirt button and I'm not seeing anything light up. Honestly, if I can't find the dirt being the professional that I am, there's no way they're gonna find the dirt. Oh, look at this little antenna. Oh my goodness. Oh, the sensor here's not clean either. That's weird. And this wiring isn't either. What the heck is going on here? This gnome is coming to plant dirt on me. Okay, I can tell you 100%. This stabilizer thing, this is clean enough to eat off of. I can't find the dirt on this sensor. Where? Okay. Maybe there was like a single germ on it or something. All right. So we're looking for the tail scoop and the wheel. I'm assuming the tail scoop is a scoop by the tail. I'm assuming it'll be by the tail. There's a scoop here. And let me think it's scoop. Where? This is a tail scoop. I have located it. Now it is time to decimate the dirt once and for all. And we should be hearing a nice dinging sound any moment here, fellas. Let me get in my belly here and really get underneath. Wow, they're really making me work for this last one, aren't they? They're really making me do this? Got it, boom. Another exemplary example of power washing. I admit I was skeptical of your prospect clean as day as high expectations. These hard words. All right, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at my little guy. You see me? I started on the top. Switched it up on you. Went to the bottom. Now I'm working on the wings here. Mm hmm Look at that clean. Look at that cleanliness. Now you're going to watch me run around for like 30 seconds. Oh, it actually just teleported me to the end. All right. A frolic boat. Not what I was guessing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop it a like. Go down below. Subscribe right now if you want to see more like this. I love you guys. I'll see you all in the next video.